वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स यू आर वॉचिंग थ्रा so this is basically the location of the seminal vesicle first we will understand the location of the different glands and after that we will discuss their functions one by one beneath the seminal vesicles is a gland which we call as prostate gland the prostate gland has a location which is beneath the uh, these seminal vesicles the part of the <coughs> urethra which is covered by the prostate gland is known as the prostatic urethra so this portion of the urethra covered by the prostate gland is known as the prostatic urethra the prostate <coughs> is a single gland whereas there are two seminal vesicles below the uh, this uh, prostate gland there is corpus gland there are small p shaped glands they are one on either side they are also known as the bulbo urethral glands so this is about the location of the glands so first of all we discussed about the location of the these three <coughs> types of the glands in the male reproductive system in the earlier lecture we discussed about this gland that's the prostate gland and in this lecture we shall focus on the remaining two accessory sex glands that is the uh, seminal vesicles and the corpus callosus so first we will discuss about seminal vesicles so these seminal vesicles they are two in number and uh, they are located just uh, at the point where the urethra uh, uh, comes out from the urinary bladder in the same area they are located one on the either side they are highly coiled they are highly coiled and their length when we see their length their length is about 4 cm they have a length of about 4 cm in a coiled states in which they are present but if we, if we analyze these glands when they are made straight then their length becomes about 9 cm so the way in which they are present in a coiled and tubular form their length only remains about 4 cm but when we analyze their length when we straighten them it is 9 cm after that you will see their seminal vesicles they secrete a secretion which we call as the seminal seminal fluid or seminal secretion this seminal secretion is it is alkaline alkaline secretion it's an alkaline secretion again it forms a very important component of the semen so the seminal fluid forms a very important component of the semen and in this uh, uh, this uh, seminal fluid there is present a coagulating enzyme a coagulating enzyme is present in the semen then we see ascorbic acid is present 
in the semen and this ascorbic acid as well as this coagulating enzyme both are contributed by their seminal vesicles or both are contributed by their seminal fluid. A very important component is found in the secretion of the seminal vesicles which we call as the fructose. Fructose. The fructose as you may be knowing it's a hexose sugar. It is secreted by the seminal vesicles and this sucrose has a very important role. It provides the nourishment it provides the nourishment or we say that it provides the energy it provides nourishment or it provides the energy to the spermatozoa so the energy which the spermatozoa use while they are swimming in the female reproductive tract for example if we draw a small representation of the a representation of the spermatozoa this is the acrosome this is the nucleus this is the middle piece and this is the tail of the spermatozoa the spermatozoa are mobile they move with the help with the vibratile movement of their uh, tail and for this they need energy and this energy for the vibratile movement of the uh, spermatozoa so that they move inside the female genital tract is contributed by the fructose and again the fructose is present in the secretion of the seminal vesicles. So this is how the seminal vesicle works. So it secretes uh, seminal fluid which is alkaline in nature, contains a coagulating enzyme, also contains ascorbic acid and very important component fructose which is needed for the movement of the sperm inside the female genital tract. So this is about the seminal vesicles. Now we shall say when we see this gland over here, this is the copper's gland or you can also call it as the bulbourethral gland. Now we will discuss about this gland which we call as the copper's gland. It is the copper's gland or you can also call it as bulbourethral. It is bulbo urethral gland so we call them as the copper's glands or again we can say them as the bulbo urethral glands they are somehow p-shaped p-seed shaped p-seed shaped and sized glands and they are two in number so this is the exact location of the copper's glands they are small P, uh, sized and p-shaped glands they are also known as bulbourethral glands and they again they secrete a secretion which is also alkaline their secretion is also alkaline secretion usually they secrete mucus so usually their secretion is mucus and it is alkaline this uh, mucus serves as a lubricant it serves as a lubricant during their process of copulation so <coughs> sorry so when the male goes for the copulation this uh, mucus alkaline mucus created from the copper's glands it serves as a lubricant it lubricates the female and male reproductive tracts for facilitating the process of the copulation and it is thus having a very important role so now we will understand where they secrete their secretions. They secrete their secretions in this part of the urethra which is called as the membranous urethra. So they secrete the copper's glands, secrete the mucus in the membranous urethra. Membranous urethra. It also serves, this alkaline mucus also serves to neutralize and the alkaline secretion of the seminal fluid, it also serves to neutralize any uh, acidic environment which is found in the female reproductive tract. We see that in the female reproductive tract there is an acidic environment, highly acidic environment and that needs to be neutralized during the process of transmission or during the process of uh, transportation of the spermatozoa through the female genital tract and it is neutralized by these alkaline secretions. Hope that you have understood uh, what is uh, uh, what are seminal vesicles and what are copper's glands and what are their secretions and how their secretions work 
if you like the video do subscribe the channel and do share the content